In Sweetwater, people are also in the spirit of giving. They're being called angels in disguise. A Houston-based company playing Secret Santa while on a job in Sweetwater this season, helping out a nonprofit with its angel tree. And SK Tab's Jessica Rank explains what they're doing will make a big impact for the ones in need this Christmas. The halls are bare and on the floor, just a few presents in sight. This one doesn't have any, and then their siblings only have one, and they have to have three. And with less than a week before Christmas, we still had, see, there's about 69 on the Sweetwater tree and probably about 50 on the Snyder tree. That was until Friday morning. That's good right there. When Santa's helpers showed up. We took every angel off the tree. And one by one. All right, this one's kind of heavy. The once empty room started to fill up. Them spending their own hard work and money, um, $2,000 to $3,000 worth of funds that they put towards this because some of these kids wouldn't have been picked off. The, the money is never an object when you talk about a pipeline crew because we're all from all over the country. But when we're all on a job, we're we're like family. So it's it's... It's just like buying for your kids. These two go together. But for the ones who will receive these gifts, the paper and packaging alone means a chance at a normal Christmas, despite out of the ordinary circumstances. When these children make an outcry of child abuse, you know, it's something that they have to deal with not just in a month. They have to deal with this long term. And it's just us to give back and give a little weight off of them during the holidays. It's better to give than to receive. That's, that's part of Christmas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. Y are I call them an angel in disguise. We're just regular people that's here in the work, make a paycheck, and to, to fit in in the community. So we, we don't want to be any angels. Thank you. In Sweetwater with coverage you can count on, just rank KTAB News. What a sweet story. Thank you, Jessica. And all of those gifts will go to benefit kids who have experienced some sort of abuse in their life and are served by the West Texas Children's Advocacy Center.